Hello! I am so happy to see you here. I'm so happy that you came to join Mr. C's Music Academy. My name is Shirley. I am the Administrative Director of Mr. C's Music Academy. And I am here to welcome you in and to show you around so that you know exactly where to go, why to go, how to go into the Academy. So first off, we want to, again, welcome you, Mr. C's so happy that you're here he loves teaching music and you guys give him the chance to do just that um, we love all of our ages here that have joined from seniors all the way to toddlers everything in between we're super excited to see you so first off i want to show you how to get into the academy once you log out of school and you have no access to it at all again it can be a little um, um, confusing sometimes. Uh, I know I forget when I log out of platforms how to get back in sometimes. So that's the first thing I want to show you. So first I'm going to open up um, my search engine here. Okay. And the first thing you want to do once you open up your search engine, whether it's Chrome or Internet Explorer, okay, you want to go to the top search bar there and you want to, I'll point to it here, and you want to type in skool.com for school. Um, no, that is not the way you spell school. I know there's a lot of children like, that's not the way you spell school. Absolutely, you are totally right. Good job. It's actually S K O O L because it is specifically the software that we're talking about. So school.com software is going to be spelled S K O O L. And then, of course, the dot com afterwards. We're going to end up in the school community once you um, type that in and press enter. So then you're going to have to go to login. Remember to go to login. Okay, if you don't, you're not in the academy yet. Okay, um, actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's log in first. Okay, so this is going to be my test account. I'm going to put my email in there. So I'll just retype it. And then I'm going to put my password. Okay, so now it's logging me in. Look at that. And it takes me right to the academy. Now, if you are already a part of school and you are in another community already, then you'll, you may not end up in the academy right away. If you're not in the academy right away, all you have to do is go to these arrows here towards the left here. See that? And you just click on it. And then your other community will be listed here. So where this says discover communities, that's where your other community would be. So I'm also a part of the school community on my other account. And so I see Mr. C's Music Academy here, and then I see the school community here. And then I just click on whichever one I want to be in at the time. Okay. So for now, um, Mr. C's Music Academy. So you want to make sure you're there. Now, if you only have Mr. C's Music Academy on your account, then you will automatically see Mr. C's Music Academy pop up as long as you click log in, put in your email address that you used when you were signing up for the Academy and the password. Okay, so now you're in the Academy. Now, I'm going to show you around a little bit, try to move from left to right. Okay, so in the search, you could always put in words um, that you would like to search for, like, um, let's say, piano. Okay. So it will show you each time that someone mentioned piano. Okay. So that's the way you use the search bar. It basically will go through the entire... Um, the entire uh, academy to see where we use that specific word and then it'll show you each time and then you can find whatever you're looking for okay so that's the way you use the search this is the chat bubble I call it even though it doesn't look like a bubble necessarily but I'll call it the chat bubble and this is where you can go and search for users and chat with them so um, one user I'll put search users hmm. 
Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm here. Okay, so then it I just searched my other page and here is my other page. So say you want to talk to me. It says right here message Shirley. So you can easily message me and say like hi. Load piano class today. Do you need any help with any of the assignments? I got you. <laughs> okay. So now Shirley Test messaged Shirley Coelho. Um, and so that's the way you can use chats. You could also chat with, of course, Mr. C himself. Um, it looks like it looks like you can only chat with administrators, so you wouldn't be able to chat amongst each others, and that is a safety feature. I'm going to put in, yeah, that is a safety feature. So administrators can chat with any of you guys. So that's the great part. If you need to chat with either myself or Mr. C, um, that is the way that you would contact us. Okay, but to keep all of the all of the community safe um, they will not allow you to have private chats amongst each other okay and that makes a lot of sense I'm very glad they have that however you guys can chat amongst each other in public posts okay and so we'll be getting to that shortly notifications notifications are basically that's the bell right there and it basically just shows you whenever someone posts so if there's people posting it'll let you know this person posted that person posted um right here meadow posted great job you guys are awesome right um so it just lets you know when people post i'm not seeing current posts here so i'm not sure if it just didn't update because i'm not seeing the current ones because there were more posts let's see yeah, like here, Benjamin posted, Melina posted. Um, so, okay, so it, it takes some time to, to update because those are current posts, okay. But it, it'll show you the posts. Then of course, user menu, this is the profile. So whenever you see the picture, usually that's your profile information. It's no different here. You'll have your profile information and if you need to make any changes or, or adjust anything, um, you could always go to the profile um, image there and click on it, okay? So now let's get back to the front page here. Okay, uh, whenever you wanna get back to the front page, just click Mr. C's Music Academy. It'll take you back to where you wanna be, okay? So now we're going to community. The community is where you're going to put the posts that you find enjoyable. Of course, it has to pertain to music of some sort and it has to be appropriate, of course. But if you have a favorite video, like, um, okay, Benjamin put, bam, how, just how. Okay, so, <laughs> I don't, um, okay, so anyway, so he posted a video that he found enjoyable. Remember, it has to be appropriate videos. Make sure it's appropriate. Oh, okay, this is cool. Um, my mom is on the phone. Um, oh, I know why it won't. it won't. It doesn't have sound. It's because of the... Um, it'll probably have sound to you. It just doesn't have it to me right now because of the setup that I have. So we'll see. But if you don't hear it, trust me, when you get into the academy, you'll be able to hear it if you don't hear it now. But this is a video that he found to be very interesting. Notice it's about music. It has trumpets. It's a band playing at a game. So you know it's appropriate. Okay, so that's the type of things that we want posted. And then uh, the comment from Melina, amazing. They're very talented. So there you go. Um, now, I'm going to tell you more about posting and comments a little later, but it's very important to post and very important to comment. And I'm going to show you why in a second. So next we have our classroom. Now, our classroom has um, 
uh, the Academy Tour. Now, this is basically it's going to be where this video was. And you guys are going to find the video here. I'm actually updating the video right now. I have one here, but I'm updating it right now as we speak. So we have that music theory classes are here. Okay. And then we have trial singing lessons. So, or recording lessons, piano, I mean, recorder lessons, piano lessons, guitar lessons, drum lessons. So in case you find yourself... Oh, no, we don't have the drums here. I'm sorry. But we do have piano and guitar, recorder, flute, singing. Okay. Um, if you find yourself wanting private lessons, like um, just in private, then we offer that. So this is just like a sample of those types of lessons um, where he really goes more into depth. Now, the classes that you're going to have um, for the year, they are broken down into quarters and you're going to have obviously music theory. I'm going to show you that. See music theory class here, writing your treble clef and bass clef, all that wonderful stuff. Click here to ask your questions. Okay, so, but these are the, this is basically the way the classes are going to be, um, are going to be listed every week okay you're going to have different classes within the classroom so one semester we'll be doing music theory classes um maybe uh we did music theory all of last year so he might want to expand on what is already there um or he might do that a little later in the year we're also going to be doing um singing classes piano classes um, I recorder flute classes, um, guitar classes. So it's basically, it is a music class and each quarter we change the focus of the music class to go to either a different instrument or just a different focus on, um, music. Okay. So, but right, these are just the lessons that you know, try lessons in case you want to do a different, go in a different route and you want to do more uh, focused lessons on each of those things. But the classroom is for the fundamentals. It's for the basics. It's so that you guys can get to know what music is and why it can be, it should be loved and the history of music and all of those wonderful things. It's music class. Okay. So it's not music lessons. It's music classes okay so you get to know and be well-rounded in multiple as aspects of music and not just one particular instrument okay so that's what your yearly i mean your monthly payment is for okay it's to learn all aspects of music and be well-rounded in music if you want a specific focus then that's when you would um take the music lessons for the year okay so and you'll find the music lessons also in the classroom okay so and that's eventually that's down the line if that's what you decide to do all right now then we go to our calendar the calendar shows when the classes are going to be posted what time they're going to be posted and the type of class that's going to be posted. So the calendar is going to come in handy. Right now, this is the schedule from last year. Of course, it's going to be changing. Um, we're going to be adding, I said, like, you know, like I said, all those instruments. So different days will be different, um, not, well, different posts. I shouldn't say different days. It might be the same days, but we're still working on it. But you check your calendar because everything is starting in September and we are really close. It's August 7th. So everything's starting in September. And so you want to check the calendar for when the new classes start. Now, of course, if you're signing up in August, that's great. You can start your music theory classes right away. You can also look at the trial lessons if you'd like to do that. Um, just so that you can get some information on the trial lesson that's fine as well okay now members tab the members tab shows all of the members that are in the academy okay so let's see if i wanted to chat with melina i can do that here okay so the chat above is for mr c or myself the administrator but if you want to chat with a specific member, you can go here and chat with that member. So that is really important. That's really good. Um, 
if there is any issues at all you are to come to us let us know that there is some issues you could always block that member okay if there's an issue but you also have to let us know because um, you know if there's an issue with someone then that needs to be addressed ASAP so but the wonderful thing is that block is right there um, parents of young ones you know I know old adults we all know what to do um, but parents of young ones make sure you're checking the account of your children consistently I always do it's really important and then of course I always ask them to because they're 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 really good with talking to me and letting me know if there's any issues at all anyway but you always want to check and make sure that um, everything is on the up and up with their accounts okay so but this is a great way for our classmates to get to know each other I love it but the really best way honestly is to post is to do a public post okay like I said before public posts are the best because when you do a public post then everyone gets to enjoy the, the commentary and you get point oh and then let me not say that now I'll say it <laughs> so leaderboards woo -woo. okay so leaderboards are really great leaderboards are basically a way for the Academy to see who's participating who's really doing the classes and enjoying um, all the work and, and um, worksheets and everything that we provide and so that we know that we're adding value to your life and we're really increasing your musical uh, prowess right we want to make sure that you're having a good time while doing all of that and so we keep track by this leaderboard and the more you post the things that you enjoy that are appropriate and the more you comment on other people's posts the more points you get the more points you accumulate at the end of the month you get a gift from us so we love doing this this is something that we just started implementing um last year and i'm trying to see if i can find the post um we actually gave someone okay well no that's not the way you do it surely sorry <laughs> sorry um hold on yeah yeah i oh i'm sorry i got it confused it's up here sorry yeah so last year we were able to give a music trivia trivia um gift to one of our students who just constantly posts and comments and submits worksheets um is just so smart and so brilliant and we were able to give him an award for answering a music trivia question so we love giving awards and you know we say congratulations um, and uh, he ended up getting a ten dollar gift card so um, and we just love doing that so it's really important that you guys participate so that you can win and it's once a month there is a once a month winner so it could be a $10 gift card it could be more than that um, it could be a little trinket you know something kind of cool that has to do with music of course right so or something maybe that we're talking about in in that month and we might you know find a little something to send to you because we were talking about those things um, so it's really important that you post and you get your points up I already see Benjamin um, I explained this to him today and he is taking full advantage he already has five points added um, that quick so he's already coming up around the bend 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 Benjamin <laughs> anyway so so remember the leaderboard that is really really important you want to post you want to comment you want to get to know each other if somebody says something and you find that to be absolutely brilliant you can always tell them Ben that was brilliant Ben that was so cool just talk to each other have fun and learn from each other that's what the leaderboards are for and you get a prize at the end for doing something that's fun anyway right so now the about page I think you guys have seen the about page I thought uh, hard and long about deleting this because it's so long but at the same time you know it shows who we are and so I kind of like that 
So, but the about page basically is just us explaining the academy and and what we enjoy and all of those wonderful things what we enjoy doing. And of course, since this video, we have changed the format of things to an extent. Um, but basically, it's still general music. It's well-rounded music, um, and we um, the same foundation is there, which is music and providing that music for as low a cost as possible while getting you guys to enjoy and have fun and um, get to know each other, socialize. It's, it's beautiful, especially homeschool children. They don't really have a lot of time to talk to each other. Seniors a lot of times do, cannot always go out, so they can't talk to each other. So having our seniors here, having our homeschool children here, having our parents here, because sometimes we don't get to go out, um, is just, it's such a joy. And we really are happy to have everyone here, everyone participating, everyone learning, and just having a good time amongst each other. So this is as close as we can get to gathering at this point. Um, during at this point in our lives you know um, okay so that this is it this is pretty much the platform if you want to take a look at different categories or topics you'll go here general discussions okay then you have music theory discussions and this is for the music theory class we're going like I said we're going to be adding more classes like recorder flute class um, singing class piano class guitar class and so then you'll see different tabs here for those different things okay anecdotes I like to put little anecdotes in there so if you ever want to see some anecdotes um, you could always check out that tab this is it's a lot of fun this one is really great when you hit a wrong note it's the next note that makes it good or bad Miles Davis Isn't that great okay so anecdotes are awesome Sometimes we need a little bit of those during the day. Um, interesting music finds. That's, um, oh, Ben put it under interesting music finds. Okay. Wow and how. Oh, that looks interesting. <laughs> okay, real quick. It shouldn't be long. Let me see. Oh, it's 11 minutes. We're not going to watch 11 minutes. But maybe in the midst of it. Oh, that's right. It's. You may be able to hear it. I can't hear it right now, but. Okay. It must be a drumming competition. Pretty cool. I've never seen anything like that, so I'm going to have to really look at it later on. I don't want to take up your time. Um, but very good. This is a really good way of, of posting exactly why I put the post there to begin with. Oh, there's even comments here, which is really good. Um, it's good to have comments. I do see likes. Actually, I'm going to like that because I, I find that really cool. Um, but okay, so there's that and then music fun. Okay, so Lily. Okay, Melina put a video just created this banner with my brother. Let me know if you like it. Okay, so oh wow, that's really pretty. <laughs> wow, that's really cool. All right, so yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. So you want to post things like this, um, and then it, the reason why it's okay too is because it goes along with music. Okay, I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully you can. <laughs> but anyway, so that's great. And then love the banner. So pretty. And then I held and it turned out like this. Very surprising. Cool. Okay. So yeah, you want to talk to each other. You want to, you know, share your likes and your dislikes. All right. Question of the day. What does a turkey who is a musician sound like? <laughs> bach, 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 bach. Get it, bach. He's a musician. He's a... He's a well-known um, musician from, mm, I forget which, I believe the 1600s, if I'm not mistaken, but I, I forget for now. But uh, Mr. C knows. So when you see Mr. C, ask him what era Bach is from. Okay, it's the Baroque era. He's going to tell you the Baroque era, but I forgot what the, um, 
what the date of that is, what the Baroque era dates are. I believe it's in the 1600s, but don't quote me. Just ask Mr. C. He's the genius. He's the musical genius. But anyway, question of the day. See, so question of the days are really, really fun. I love questions of the days. I ask them. But if you have a question of the day, do not hesitate to ask, right? As long as it's appropriate. Um, if I do see inappropriate things, I will delete them. And then I will also give you a warning. Maybe two, maybe three, depending on how I feel. So we all know what's appropriate and what's inappropriate. So please be appropriate. Okay. And that is that is um, the whole academy, okay? As a whole, um, we have right now at the timing of this um, 82 students, not counting myself, um, or 80, 81 students. We have like 81 students here uh, at, the, at this timing. Oh, you can also see if people are online, which is really awesome. Um, so we see these three are online right now, myself included. So then if you if one of your friends are on, you could always click on chat and talk to them. So that's really cool. Um, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Actually, no, I know you'll enjoy everything. I hope that you take the time to actually come into the academy so that you can enjoy the um assets of the academy what we offer and the value that you get uh, we really really truly look forward to serving you uh, especially because it's what we love most which is music so thank you so much for joining mr. C's music Academy and if you have any questions or concerns always hit me up in the chat here like I told, showed you before, um, and I'll be happy to assist you. If you have a question for Mr. C, hit him up in the chat, okay? He's very accessible, all right? We even have one student right now that um, she asked for some input on her um, singing ability. So we look forward to getting those type of messages mr c loves getting those type of messages so don't hesitate to contact us to talk to us to ask us any questions that you might have and if you're interested in music lessons more in-depth music lessons for a particular instrument let us know and we'll be happy to accommodate all right and that is all enjoy mr c's music academy